plant movements different parts of the plant show movement in response to various external stimuli touch light gravity and water are the stimuli that trigger plant movements plant movements are categorized into two types tropic movement nastic movement tropic movement it is the movement of plant towards stimulus if the growth is towards the direction of the stimulus the tropism is referred to as positive if it is against the direction of the stimulus it is referred to as negative phototropism plants are very sensitive to light the shoots tend to grow towards the light this type of plant movement in response to light is known as phototropism in phototropism the shoot is positively phototropic whereas the root is negatively phototropic geotropism the roots of plants grow downwards while their shoots grow upwards against gravity this type of plant movement in response to gravity is known as geotropism in geotropism the shoot is negatively geotropic and the root is positively geotropic hydrotropism the roots of plants grow towards the source of water this is known as hydrotropism roots are positively hydrotropic chemotropism the movement due to chemical stimulus is known as chemotropism example pollen tube grows towards ovules nastic movements the folding of leaflets of sensitive plants like touch me not the opening and closing of petals the closing of pitcher of the insectivorous plants etc are movements that have no relation to the direction of the stimulus these movements are known as nastic movements movements of young sunflower heads during the day to track the sun is one of the most amazing things in nature all plants exhibit movements let's get to know more about plant movements in this module at the end of this module you will be able to explain the meaning and types of tropic movements in plants explain the meanings and types of nastic movements in plants roots growing downwards and shoots growing upwards is a common phenomenon in plants these movements or growth in plants are based on the direction of external agents or stimuli stimulus may be an external agent such as light gravity contact or source of water directional movements or growth towards or away from a stimulus are called tropic movements tropic movement towards a stimulus is termed positive while a tropic movement away from a stimulus is termed negative take a look at this plant kept indoors we have chosen a pot that is open on both ends all the stems have turned towards the window that is towards light movement in plants due to light is called phototropism now let us take a closer look at a plant showing phototropic movement you can see the shoot of the plant growing towards the light and the root growing against the light here the shoots are positively phototropic and the roots are negatively phototropic did you know that the telegraph plant is an amazing plant its small lateral leaflets move at a rapid speed along an elliptical path sampling the intensity of sunlight and directing the large leaf 
to the area of most intensity. Let's place this potted plant horizontally for a few days. We have chosen a pot that is open on both ends. We see that the roots have grown downwards towards the gravitational pull. The shoots, however, have grown upwards against the gravitational pull. Plant movement in response to the force of gravity is called geotropism. The roots are positively geotropic, while the shoots are negatively geotropic. These wiry stems are actually tendrils. Tendrils move in the direction of a solid object that they happen to come in contact with. Plant growth movement in the direction of a solid that touches it is called thigmotropism. The movement of plants in response to the stimulus of water or moisture is called hydrotropism. Now take a look at this setup. You can see that the bean seed here has its root growing towards water. Water is the stimulus here that has led to this directional growth movement of the root. Watch these visuals to understand hydrotropism better. Nastic movements in plants are also a response to stimuli, such as contact, light or heat. Nastic movements do not lead to growth and are non-directional movements. Nastic movements are reversible movements, unlike tropic movements. Pitcher plant and the Venus flytrap close and catch their prey as soon as the prey lands on them. The leaves of mimosa or touch-me-not plant close when they are touched. Here, the movements do not depend on the direction of the stimulus. The leaves of oxalis move in response to intensity of light. They open up in daylight and fold when the intensity of light is less. Flowers such as sunflowers, morning glory and tulips bloom during the day and close in the evening. Now, for a quick recap, we have the summary here. Let's try to find out how plants show tropism in response to the stimulus. We have taken a potted plant and the pot is clamped to a stand with a rotating part. Rotate the clamp and wait for a couple of days. The roots grow downwards while the shoots grow upwards and away from the earth. This upward and downward growth of shoots and roots respectively in response to the pull of the earth or gravity is called geotropism. Download Spark Learning app.